So Monkey is eating bananas when Monkey gets this crazy idea to trap our entire planet inside a giant energy-collecting shell. And what Monkey discovers will terrify you because this isn't just about unlimited power. This is about accidentally creating the most beautiful prison in the universe, and humanity might never escape. So Monkey starts thinking about this Dyson Sphere idea, and Monkey realizes, wait, everyone builds these things around stars. But what if Monkey flips the script and puts Earth inside one instead? And Monkey's brain starts spinning, because this could either be the greatest achievement in human history, or the most catastrophic mistake ever made. And honestly, Monkey's not sure which one it's going to be. First thing Monkey realizes is, this sphere needs to be absolutely massive like twice the size of Earth's orbit around the Sun. And Monkey's thinking, okay, that's big enough to fit 100 million Earths inside. And Monkey needs an insane amount of material, so Monkey looks around the solar system and Monkey's eyes land on Mercury. And Monkey thinks, perfect Mercury, you're about to become the ultimate sacrifice for this project. So, Monkey unleashes an army of self-replicating robots on Mercury. And these little guys start tearing the entire planet apart, piece by piece and Monkey's watching Mercury slowly disappear, thinking this is either the coolest demolition project ever, or Monkey is about to regret this decision for the rest of eternity. But Monkey's committed now, and there's no going back. And as Monkey builds more of the sphere, Monkey starts collecting absolutely ridiculous amounts of solar energy, like the power of a trillion nuclear bombs every single second. And Monkey realizes Monkey now has basically unlimited energy to reshape reality itself. And Monkey's thinking with great power comes great potential for cosmic disasters. But here's where things get interesting. Monkey decides to use all this energy to create the perfect environment inside the sphere. So Monkey installs massive climate control systems that can regulate temperature and weather across the entire inner surface. And Monkey's thinking, finally, no more hurricanes, no more droughts, no more climate change, just perfect banana-growing weather, everywhere, forever. Then Monkey realizes Monkey can control gravity inside the sphere by spinning different sections. And Monkey creates zones with Earth gravity, Moon gravity, and Zero gravity. And Monkey's building floating cities, and underwater metropolises, and mountain ranges that stretch toward the center. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey is basically playing God with an entire world. But then something terrifying happens. As Monkey seals up more of the sphere, the stars start disappearing from Earth sky. And Monkey realizes that once this thing is complete, humanity will be completely cut off from the rest of the universe. And Monkey's thinking, wait, did Monkey just accidentally create the most advanced prison in cosmic history? And Monkey starts noticing weird effects. Because without direct natural sunlight, Earth's magnetic field begins acting strange. And Monkey's thinking, oh no, what if Monkey broke Earth's protection from cosmic radiation? And what if Monkey's perfect artificial environment is actually slowly killing the planet? Then, Monkey realizes the sphere is so massive, it has its own gravitational effects, and it's pulling on Earth and the Moon. And Monkey's calculating trajectories, thinking, what if Monkey accidentally crashes Earth into the inner wall of the sphere? Because that would definitely ruin everyone's day, and probably end human civilization. At this point, Monkey's heart is racing because Monkey realizes this project has consequences Monkey never considered. And every decision Monkey makes could either create paradise or destroy everything. But Monkey's already disassembled an entire planet, so Monkey has to see this through to the end. Then Monkey seals the final panel, and suddenly Earth is completely enclosed. And Monkey realizes Monkey has just done something that no civilization in the universe has ever attempted before. And the responsibility is crushing, because Monkey now controls literally everything about Earth's environment. And Monkey's thinking, this is either ultimate power or ultimate terror. First thing Monkey does is test the climate control. And Monkey cranks up the energy to maximum. And suddenly Monkey can terraform entire continents in days. So Monkey turns the Sahara into a tropical paradise and Antarctica into a temperate garden. And Monkey's thinking, finally, Earth is reaching its true potential. But then Monkey notices something disturbing. Without natural sunlight cycles, plants and animals start behaving strangely because they evolved over millions of years with real solar patterns, not Monkey's artificial perfect lighting. 
and monkeys watching ecosystems slowly break down despite having unlimited energy to fix them. And monkey realizes you can't just replace millions of years of evolution with engineering. And monkey tries to compensate by creating artificial stars on the inner surface. But it's not the same, because humans look up and instead of seeing infinite space, they see a ceiling. And monkey notices people getting depressed and anxious, because for the first time in human history, the night sky is gone forever. And monkey's thinking, monkey might have accidentally stolen humanity's cosmic heritage. Then, Monkey discovers the sphere is collecting so much energy that Monkey doesn't know what to do with it all. So Monkey starts building massive projects just to burn through the excess power. And Monkey creates matter replicators and artificial gravity generators and even experiments with time dilation fields. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey has become a cosmic wizard but with no idea how to control these powers. But here's where it gets really scary. Monkey realizes that all this artificial perfection is making humans weak because they no longer face natural disasters or resource scarcity or climate challenges. And Monkey's watching humanity become soft and dependent. And Monkey's thinking, maybe struggle and hardship were actually important for human development. And Monkey just removed all of that. And the most terrifying part is, Monkey realizes that from outside the sphere, Earth has completely vanished from the universe because the sphere blocks all light from escaping. So, from an alien perspective, Earth just disappeared one day. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey might have accidentally made humanity invisible to the cosmos and cut off any chance of contact with other civilizations. Then Monkey notices the sphere's massive size is creating its own weather patterns and atmospheric currents that never existed before. And Monkey's getting these incredible storms that circle the entire inner surface creating weather phenomena that are beautiful and terrifying and completely unpredictable. And Monkey's losing control of the very system Monkey created. But then Monkey discovers the most mind-shattering truth about this project. Because with unlimited energy, Monkey can manipulate space and time itself. And Monkey realizes Monkey can create pocket dimensions and artificial universes inside the sphere. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey hasn't just built an energy collector. Monkey has created a cosmic cocoon where humanity can evolve into something completely alien. And Monkey starts building portals that connect different parts of the sphere instantly, so you can step through a door and emerge anywhere on the inner surface. And Monkey realizes Monkey has created a transportation network that makes the entire sphere feel like one interconnected world. But Monkey's also thinking, what if these portals destabilize space-time itself? Then Monkey makes the most terrifying discovery. The sphere is so massive and contains so much energy that it's warping space-time around it and creating gravitational effects that reach into the solar system. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey might have accidentally built the most dangerous object in the galaxy and other civilizations might see it as a threat. And Monkey realizes that with unlimited energy, Monkey can experiment with consciousness itself and Monkey starts building neural networks that span the entire sphere. And Monkey's thinking, Monkey could create a collective intelligence that includes every human. But Monkey's also terrified, because what if Monkey accidentally erases individual human consciousness in the process? But here's the ultimate horror. Monkey realizes the sphere isn't just protecting Earth from the outside universe. It's protecting the outside universe from what Earth is becoming. Because with unlimited energy, Humanity is evolving at an incredible rate and developing abilities that would seem like magic. And Monkey's thinking, what if humanity becomes something that other civilizations would want to destroy? And the most crushing realization hits Monkey like a cosmic sledgehammer. Because Monkey realizes that even though life inside the sphere is perfect, and humans have unlimited energy and can build anything they want, they can never leave. Because the sphere has become their entire universe, and Monkey's thinking, Monkey has created the most beautiful prison ever built, and humanity is trapped forever. Then Monkey understands the ultimate truth. This isn't just about energy collection. This is about the moment a civilization chooses between remaining connected to the cosmos or becoming something entirely new and isolated. And Monkey realizes Monkey has made that choice for all of humanity without asking, and there's no way to undo it. So after creating this ultimate megastructure, Monkey realizes that putting Earth inside a Dyson Sphere is the most dangerous decision any civilization could make. Because Monkey hasn't just built a power source. 
Monkey has fundamentally changed what it means to be human and cut humanity off from its cosmic destiny forever. And Monkey's final terrifying conclusion is that maybe some technologies are too powerful for any species to handle responsibly, because with unlimited energy comes unlimited potential for both creation and destruction, and Monkey's not sure humanity was ready for either. But the most chilling thought is, Monkey realizes that somewhere in the universe, other civilizations might have made the same choice, and they're trapped inside their own perfect prisons, wondering if they made the right decision. And Monkey's thinking, maybe that's why we never hear from advanced alien civilizations. Maybe they all built their own cosmic cages. And if you want to see what other terrifying megastructures could trap humanity forever, let Monkey know. Because Monkey's brain is already spinning with ideas about ring worlds, and Alderson discs, and other cosmic engineering projects that could change everything about human existence.